today. This is Kenya Wajardo. And Kenneth Bravo. Please rise for the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Under the Texas flag, I pledge allegiance to the Texas, one state, under God, one indivisible. I will graduate from high school equipped to excel in the college and career of my choice, dominate 21st century skills in leadership, knowledge, language, and technology to compete in a global economy and serve as a successful citizen in my community. This is standing for a moment of silence. Thank you. You may be seated. Back. We hope you enjoyed your week off or fall break. Coming up very soon will be our Christmas break. The days will be going by fast. Remember, benchmarks will be coming up in a couple of weeks. So your so your attendance is super important. If you if you are asked to stay for tutoring, please stay. You need to make sure that you do the best you can on your bench, benchmarks and tutoring will help give you the tools you need to pass. <laughs> November 27, 1978, in San Francisco, Mayor George Moscone and City Supervisor Harvey Milk, a gay rights activist, are shot to death at City Hall. Former City Supervisor Dan White, who pulled the trigger, goes on trial for murder, but he's convicted of voluntary manslaughter. In what's dubbed the Twinkie defense, White's attorneys argue their client's junk food habits impaired his judgment. 1973. In Washington, the U.S. Senate confirms Gerald Ford as Richard Nixon's vice president. Ford succeeds Spiro Agnew, who had resigned amid accusations that he took bribes. The following year, Ford becomes president after the Watergate scandal forces Nixon from office. 2005. Doctors in France perform the world's first partial face transplant on a woman disfigured by a dog bite during a 15-hour operation. And 1953. Playwright Eugene O'Neill, who wrote Long Day's Journey into Night and The Iceman Cometh, dies in Boston. He was 65. Today in History, November 27th, Mike Gracia, The Associated Press. Inventions have come a long way and so has 3D printing. We have seen whole houses built with 3D printers and now technology has gone, gone a step further. Scientists have successfully created a, a 3D printed robotic hand with bones, ligaments, and ten, tendons for the first time ever. Technology has come so far that this was all done in one printing session and, and even mimics a real human hand with the way it bends and moves. This gives hope to those who need to use prosthetics and will hopefully help to make them even better in the near future that's amazing in the words of country music singer reba mcintyre to succeed in life you need three things a wishbone a backbone a funny bone keep wishing for a better tomorrow but make sure that you also stand up for yourself others and be and the right thing and don't forget to find the fun in life life is going to throw things at you that you never imagined but if you have the courage to look at the bright side you will make it through anything this is Kenya Wajardo and Kenneth Bravo signing off have, have a, a great, great day, day.